All right, so we're gonna do a video here on riveters. So I've got a, a hand squeeze riveter and then a, an air version of the same concept. So I've got two eighth inch rivets I'm going to set here. And uh, I'll talk about this one. This is a, a benchmark model. You probably buy this with a lot of different names. And uh, I found that to get it to fit in some locations, I had to grind off of here and grind off there so I could reach into smaller holes. So you'll see that that's pretty unlikely to be able to do that with the air version. I got this at an auction and it didn't come with anything more than what you see. So it didn't have any different guides in it. But I found that you can take the guides out of a hand squeezer and they'll fit into here. So take a, a quick look at what's going on here. There should be a cup on the back to catch the uh, studs because you don't want them falling onto the road and then getting holes in your tires. So there's uh, the main part of it. Let's hook up to here again. So you can see how it works. Let's see that I'm going to screen still. So it's got a bit of force behind it. I don't know what brand it is, it's missing the sticker. Some kind of diagonal circular kind of label there. So, this will do one by hand first, see how that goes. If we can get the camera to focus on that or not. It's been a while since I did this, it doesn't come up every day. One squeeze, two squeeze, three squeeze. So broke it off at three. Of course, we may not be focusing on the right spot, unfortunately. So it's uh, this one here. So I just got to put that tip in the uh, air riveter now. Have the right guide. See so how many squeezes this takes. So this is an eighth inch thick material. I'd say a bit. Just gonna bring this in. So I'd say they did comparable quality. They're both in there fairly firm. The ball is jiggling back and forth inside of it. So it went in all of the way. It looks good on the outside. So if you bump into one of these uh, air riveters and you think you're gonna use it a couple times, I'd say it's probably worth your money. It's uh, limited on access but otherwise it's a pretty simple machine and it can make your life a lot easier. So thanks for watching.